Hey, what's up guys? It's me, the home cooking hunter with Breaking Wild. And a lot of you have been asking how to prep a venison heart. You saw my recipe we posted a while back and you wanna know how to do this yourself. We're gonna make a quick, easy video here today to show you guys how to prepare this venison heart so you can cook it any way you want. First thing we gotta do is when you get your venison heart, we gotta carry it over to the sink and clean out all these valves and holes right here. So come on over here, guys. Follow me over. It's real simple, it's real easy. We just turn on some cold water. Don't get it going too fast. And all these little holes right here, we're just gonna run cold water in these holes. Now you gotta get a little handsy with it. Get your fingers in there, pump the heart out. See that coming out, these little clots coming out right here? Make sure you get all that out. Perfect. And we'll just do the same thing to the other one. Okay, so we're gonna take it back over here. I got some paper towels, and we're just going to pad these dry. Getting the moisture off of it. Make it a little easier to work with. Okay, so now we're just gonna bring these over, grab our knife, open that puppy up. And right here you can see this tubing material at the top, these holes here that are called the ventricles. Right here at the top of this fat line is where we're gonna start. We're just gonna get rid of all this mess right here by cutting straight down. And we'll just discard that. That'll be on the garbage or in your dog's mouth. Right here again, top of the fat line. Cut it out. Gone. The next thing we want to do, any of this white fat that's on top of the heart here, it's all got to go. It is it is inedible and you do not want to eat this stuff. So just start cutting this stuff away. Another question I get a lot is how do I obtain and how do I save the heart? And basically what people are asking is, do they have to eat it right away? Um, can you save them? And yeah, man, you can definitely save them. Sometimes I eat it right away, but a lot of times I bring them out, clean them out you know, best I can, and then I vacuum seal them. And I just put them in my freezer because to be honest with you, this is something that I like to save for an occasion. It's not one that I just like to, you know, eat right then and there. Sometimes yes, but for the most part, I like to collect a few of them and have a nice meal out of a few hearts at a time for a special occasion. So yes, the answer is, if, when you get your heart, when you take it away from the animal, just cut it out, put it in a Ziploc bag, opened up on ice so it can vent, then you're good to go. When you get it home, wash it, vacuum seal it, and you're done. Put it in your freezer, you eat it whenever you want. All right, so. Mm. All right, so I wanna show you two different ways that I like to cut these things up. Of course, you can leave it whole if you like to. Um, there's things inside. If you leave it whole, if you wanna look right inside here, you've gotta get all this out. You've got to get a small knife and get in there and get all this fibrous, um, you know, stringy material out of there. I don't know the technical term for it, so don't judge me, but all this has got to go. So I'm going to show you the two ways that I like to do it, which with this one right here, we're going to do in half, and this one over here, we're going to do in steaks. So we'll start with this one here. I like to cut them in little half inch steaks, little, little tiny steaks. Great little appetizers, or if you got enough hearts, a great meal. Okay, so there you've got a few nice little decent heart steaks. Now, let's look at this. Inside the ring here, what you're gonna find is that fibrous material. This stringy stuff, like I said, anything white really needs to go. And we're just gonna cut that out and repeat that on the rest of them, any that you find right through there, any little white stuff. Like this right here, see that? I have to cut my fingers. It's good to have a nice sharp knife. 
helps with the meticulous parts of it. Okay, so we'll put these to the side for now. I'll finish them later. Now we're gonna come over here to this heart. This beautiful heart right here, I actually got into it when I was field dressing, so don't mind this little flap. That's from my knife when I was field dressing the animal. So all we're gonna do here is take this straight down the middle. And boom, look at that. Opens it up like a little book, and you can really see all the aspects of the heart. You see all that right there? That's gotta go. We gotta get all this out. Nice little thin piece of meat right there. And then you've got your two steaks. Helps with cooking times, because these cook really, really fast. So, and I also, I was just informed that the white stringy stuff is called the Cordonne Tende. I don't know if I said that right. My wife's a nurse, so she hooked me up, dropped some knowledge, in case y'all wanted to know. So, guys, that's it. That's all you need to know. You can take these steaks right here, cook them whole. You can slice them into strips, fry them, make fajitas out of them. You could do tacos. These right here, you can do just as is. You can put them in a skillet with onions, mushrooms, butter, and some red wine. We actually have a video on the Breaking Wild YouTube channel. You can go back and check out. It's very popular, and it's a great way to cook the heart or we use some red wine and saute these suckers up. This is red meat. You can cook it however you want, but what you've got to remember is this cooks really fast. So we're going to do some more videos on this, some recipes so you can get some better idea. But when you're cooking this, you're talking one, one and a half, one minute, one to one and a half minutes per side, and you're done. Perfect medium rare, and you've got some of the best meat you'll ever eat. This is it, guys. The venison heart. The best meat you can get, in my opinion, off the animal. So, thank you guys for stopping by for this quick tip. I'm Joel, the home cooking hunter with Breaking Wild. And we hope that you guys save all the hearts from every deer that you get this season. We'll see you next time. I clean the rest of these out.